It's Wabushir here, back again with another video, a sentence entry 3 in level 1 writing exams. This time we're looking at task 2, informal writing. Step 1 for both task 2 and task 3 is plan your writing. Again, we'll be using an Ascentis sample exam paper to practice and thank you to Ascentis for providing these. In this task, your friend wants to do more exercise. Write an email telling him or her which sport or activity you recommend and why. You must plan the points you're going to include in how you're going to introduce, develop and finish your writing. Write at least 150 words. So now it's your turn to tell me, do you remember how you must approach the plan? What should you not forget to include? You remember? Yes, use your ideas, okay? Use bullet points or spidergram, don't write sentences and use your plan to help with writing. Think about it like this, you need to cook a dish and for that dish you need all the right ingredients, okay? So if you cook with all the right ingredients, the end product should look something like this. Wow. But if you choose all the wrong ingredients, your end product might look something like this. Or it might just be that you're a horrible cook. What? Look, whatever the case, you need to choose the right plan to help you with the writing. It might help to divide the plan into three parts, starting with the introduction. Under that, add all the things you want to add in the introduction, such as a greeting, hi, hello, and then ask about the exercise. Move on to the main part, which is the body, okay? Under that, write all the things you want to include in the main part of your email. You can add, for example, recommend swimming. You could choose to talk about swimming and then explain the benefits of swimming. Talk about your personal experiences. Then talk about the local swimming pool that you will recommend to your friend. And then other things such as fitness goals and how fun it is. Don't forget, do not write sentences. Just add words and phrases in the plan. The last thing you can add to your plan is a conclusion. And under that, you can put all your ideas about finishing off your writing. So in this case, you can encourage your friend to take up swimming. You can talk a little bit about the benefits of swimming and how enjoyable it is before closing your email to your friend. The next and the final step is to complete the writing. Remember, you must use your plan to complete your writing and it should be as quick as this. Just kidding, of course, but imagine if you could actually do that. Start with an informal greeting such as Hey Ibrahim or Hi Ibrahim. Greeting for a friend or family member. I hope you're doing well. I heard you want to exercise more. Is that true? Some nice short sentences to begin with. I hope you're doing well. You can also say I hope you are well. I hope all is well. I hope everything is well. You can add an exclamation mark at the end of that sentence to show warmth, to show enthusiasm. I heard you want to exercise more using the past there. Is that true? A three word question. Is that true? You can add that question there to ask for clarification. I heard this news. Is that true? Is that correct? I've got a great idea for you. Swimming. Another very good sentence that you can use in different types of situations when you write letters and emails. Also another way of saying I have, such as I have a great idea. You can use colon, you can use an exclamation mark. I've got a great idea for you. Cycling. I've got a great idea for you. Yoga. I mean, I have so many ideas. Swimming is awesome. It's a total body workout that's easy on your body. Starting with a three word sentence with an exclamation mark. What an easy way to get one of the five correct sentences that you need to pass task two and task three. You can make so many similar sentences using the same form. Fasting is awesome. WhatsApp is awesome. Reading is awesome. Blueberries are awesome. Everything is awesome. It helps tone muscles, boosts stamina and gives you energy. You can use it helps in other sentences as well when talking about the benefits of walking as compared to using public transport. You can say it helps to save money and lose weight. Whenever I go swimming, I feel amazing. This is actually a complex sentence and so easy to use. You can use whenever in so many different sentences. Whenever I drink tea, I feel relaxed. Whenever I call you, you don't answer your phone. 
Whenever I watch Mubash's videos, I learn so much. It's true. It's true. I have a friend who swims a lot and she also thinks it's brilliant. Introduce other people using I have. I have a friend, I have a neighbor, I have a colleague and talk about them as well. And this is how you can finish this paragraph. The best part, it's super convenient. The best part, this is not exactly 100% correct, but this is how you tend to write to a friend in an informal letter. So it's fine over here. And look, it's super convenient. This is a really good sentence. Again, an exclamation mark used. And you can use this in so many different ways. Oh, it's super cool. It's super cheap. It's super clean. So use this type of language and get another correct sentence. We have a local swimming pool with affordable fees and flexible timings. So it fits our routine really well. You can use the same or similar structure to come up with your own compound sentences when you have to talk about different situations. You can say, for example, we have a really nice local library, so we should use it to study for our exams. We can join this local pool unless you know a better place. We're finishing the paragraph off with a complex sentence using unless. You can try using unless to come up with your own complex sentences. For example, we can go out and eat unless you want to order something online. We can watch a film together unless you just want to talk. The key is to practice and try to come up with your own ideas, your own sentences. I hope that you will use these ideas to come up with your own sentences as well. Let's start the conclusion with the next paragraph. This is a complex sentence. I really think swimming could be great for your health because it's fun refreshing and will help you achieve your fitness goals. This is a great sentence for giving others advice. You can say for example, I really think fasting could be a great idea for you because it will help you to lose weight and burn fat. I really think reading could be great for your English because it's interesting and relaxing. Let's try it together and make fitness a part of our lives. I promise you will not regret it. You can use this very same sentence in different ways. I promise you will love it. I promise you will not be disappointed. Give it a shot and let me know how it goes. I'm excited to hear about your swimming adventures. Give it a shot means try it. Give it a go. You can end your email by using other similar sentences. I look forward to hearing from you. I can't wait to hear from you. Closing the email with take care, Mubashir. You can also use bye or best wishes. A good idea would be to use one that you really like and just stick to that one. So my keys to success are number one, follow the tips I mentioned in my previous video. Keep things simple, okay? Most of the sentences that you have to use in all the tasks, including task two and task three, are simple sentences. Use mostly simple sentences and then add a few compound and complex sentences in task two and task three as well. Practice, practice, practice. Remember, writing is a motor skill, okay? Give those muscles in your hands and your fingers a good working out. It's all about the movement of your hands and your fingers and writing the sentences. You have to keep doing it again and again. In my view, one of the most important things is to have fun. Really enjoy the process, okay? Stop worrying about failing. Like I said in the previous video, you can only do your best and you're already doing that. So don't worry and just go out there and have a blast. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a lot. Please don't forget to give this video a like. Comment below about what video you'd like me to do next. Share this video and I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.